UFC Heavyweight Division Collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, the Gypsy King, the inimitable, the omnipresent, the one and only Tyson Fury, and the boxing superstardom evidently was not enough. We now see Fury making the walk to the UFC octagon here tonight, and say what you want about his ground credentials or lack thereof, but he is confident on the feet, he is very unorthodox, every round begins on the feet, and that figures to make Tyson Fury a real problem, especially early. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, the problem. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Tyson Fury. All right, meet the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chief? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh! Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Good right here. All right, single collar tie now. the takedown without issue.
big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh yeah, right here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up. Let's go. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plum. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Ooh, big shot to the body. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, huge block! Single collar tie there. Nice strike. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. Give me some more. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of. That'll do it! That's it! He got him! What a performance! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by knockout, Tyson Fury. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.